Andrew's Workshop Projects, Part 5. I delivered a vintage Stuart 504 boiler to my friend Andrew, and it seemed like a good idea to steam the now modified Stuart 7A vertical steam engine on the bench. It is now much improved and runs quite well on steam. In this video there is a lot of workshop audio as we chatted about the engine and the boiler. During the introduction I've been using a continuous pan shot around Andrew's very well equipped workshop. Andrew's workshop started off life as a double width garage and here you can see the door that we're about to open because we're going to be doing a steam test. Here's the 504 boiler that I constructed in another series and it looks really well next to the nice cup of tea that Andrew made me. There was some water in the boiler but it needed a bit more so I removed the safety valve complete with its silicone o-ring, fitted my threaded funnel into the top and opened the steam valve to let the air out. I didn't use spring water this time, we used a kettle with standard tap water in it. You don't really need to use distilled water in these boilers, ordinary water works fine. Although periodically you do need to descale the boiler. And that is especially true if you're living in what's called a hard water area. Don't leave it too long, remove the lime scale every few months. Over now to the live workshop audio. Andrew and I were chatting as we were setting up and running the steam engine. But don't worry, there is some chat free audio at the end of the video, just showing the engine in steam. Plus, there's another episode, because the engine did develop a fairly serious fault, which Andrew and I put right. But that is shown in detail in the next episode. Here we go, it's on with the show. But we don't want it full tip top because otherwise what will happen is when it gets hot it'll expand. I think that'll do because the water level there will actually go up once the thing starts to get hot. But it needs a bit of help. Have we got cloths and water for fire? got a rag. See what I mean? Look at it. It's ridiculous. Once it starts. Seeing the engine came as somewhat of a shock. Andrew had been very busy modifying the valve gear and now it looks much better. Still not perfect. I don't like the reversing lever but that's just my opinion. The main thing today is to see how well it runs using steam. Here I'm telling Andrew about the boiler. I've steamed it three times and used uh, a litre of uh, meth. Because, you know, you don't get out for now, do you? No, but it's cheaper than buying Welsh coal. I use just anthracite from local coal merchant. And if you get some good stuff... Is that fine. smokeless? Yeah. Yeah? Well, in a manner of speaking. Well, yeah. All we need to do now is wait until the boiler starts to raise steam. So you, we're still over full, even though you only filled it to three quarters. Yeah, but that's it, interesting. That is, yeah. What do what, what do you test the pressure to? You know, you do the water test. Do you double the double to so one twenty? You'd take it to, would you? Mm, yeah, sixty psi on this. I'd take it a bit higher, but I mean, I'd, I've done a pressure test on this. I got two or three of these, um, and I pressure tested them all at the same. You, you day. should do them up like this and stuff. <laughs> The heat that comes out of that chimney is a bit scary. Well, it will eat this room if we had the garage door yeah, shut, wouldn't it? Yeah. It's better to get it just under blow so it's blowing. Just making Keith another cup of tea. That were well over full. I don't know why it was like that. Yeah, anyway, the three quarters though, didn't it? Sound better. Uh, by the way, I took I, what? I took this off and retimed it. Did you get it bang in the centre? Yeah. Both sides as well. It was slightly off. It was too low. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, it, it's just over sixty. It blows off that, and you'll notice it because it makes a horrible. It's 
show up models blowing off, Sam. Can you see it? Yeah. That's great. But listen to it in a minute. Just wait. Oh, yeah. What? The old one. Why? Don't know. Okay. <laughs> Give us some. Okay, it's a bit less. Apart from the really ugly uh, reversing lever, at least we've got some proportion of scale there. The handle still needs a little bit of, you know, tweaking. I made it like that just to purely annoy you. Well, I'm sure you did. <laughs> and it has. I mean, each night, each night I go to bed and I bang my head against the uh, bedroom wall. It's got loads of power. Yeah. That's your true rate of the power. You can't stop it, you can you? You can't stop it, can And as you can see at the bottom of there, that's water. And the oil floats on the water. It's like a piece of Victorian surgical equipment to be yeah. put on the engine. What you do periodically is you burn your fingers, you open this. Does that make more oil? Spread? No, this lets the water out. Ah. Oh, that good. Can you see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, what's, what, 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 oh, look at the oil. Well, the oil's gone to the bottom, bottom now. Yeah. So what we need to do is turn the tap off. Very thin. It's just warming up in the teeth. Right, put the top back on. Now, there's different grades of steam oil. The stuff I use is a bit too thick for some of the smaller engines. It's a bit singing. Good. Put it on. We don't get the shell. And that is it for this episode. Stay safe, stay healthy. Thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Main Steam Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists you can actually watch the videos back to back.